John, here in Australia, it's a bit of a foreign concept, honestly, like the, the idea of these beauty pageants. So, you know, rightly or wrongly, there was criticism surrounding the beauty pageants. Do you think that was fair? Yeah, I think there's some criticism due. Uh, my observation of the people that are in these pageants, some of them were, were living vicariously through their daughter, and it was important that their daughter won and and it's like wow that's that's not healthy you know um but um patsy came from a small town in in a small state west virginia and um she said in miss america pageant i I knew i'd never win i and she just said i had fun doing it i was it was fun being there what got john Monet interested in it a little bit was that they went to a reunion of these miss america contestants and john Monet went with her and she got, she joyed, she was fun, like, how do I do that? So that's how I got it started. But I think the real thing was Patsy was, had gone through stage four ovarian cancer, was in remission, uh, and I think just never said it, but I think she was just trying to pack a lot of mother-daughter time in perhaps a, what's gonna be a short life, and it turned out it, it was. How do you reflect on the fact that Patsy went to her grave with no resolution? I think she, probably got an answer when she got to heaven. But uh, um, she, Patsy was a very strong woman, very, very devoted to her children. And when we lost John Bonet, she uh, really focused all that devotion on our youngest son, who at the time was nine. And really, um, it gave her a purpose, continued purpose to live and, and uh, move on. And. Uh, and we kind of felt like it was, you know, it was us against the world. Well, especially when Burke was accused, right? Well, yeah, that was that was just that was just below the lowest tabloid uh, standard. Uh, you know, he was he was nine years old. He weighed sixty pounds. Uh, he was interviewed by the police. He we they wanted him to go to a to be interviewed by, their, I guess, their child psychologist, which he spent two days with them. And they came out and said, no, he, he knew nothing about this. He wasn't capable of doing this. This is, and even the police from day one said, no, the child had nothing to do with this. But the media, the, the low life element of the media, just it was good for selling magazines. It's such an awful position, John, to be put in as a father who's just lost his beautiful little girl to then be blamed for her murder. You know, it, in a way, it, it, it didn't matter. You know, we'd been hurt as deeply as we could be hurt. We were crushed. We were defeated uh, for a time. And so it was just irrelevant. And um, we had lots of friends and family supporting us. And, you know, I thought, well, okay, I'll, uh, you know, we'll, the police will eventually show some level of discernment and and after looking at things and thinking about it, will realize, well, that's wrong and let's go down another path. And that never happened. And, um, and it's hard to understand how that could be. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au as well as the 9now app.